They dissolve quickly and leave no smell, no taste, and no trace. Date rape drugs. Surveys show that roughly one in five students is sexually assaulted while in college. In fact, even the president is calling for action. Some of this is a job for government, but really, it's up to all of us to be brave enough to stand up and help put an end to these crimes. crimes. So we set up a scenario at the Mason Jar in Mawa, New Jersey. I thought I saw you around campus. Yeah. A young female student is approached by two classmates. I think I'm going to go to the bathroom, actually. She's about to become a victim of predators with dark intentions. What would you do if you saw this? Hi. Hey. What's up? How's it going? Hey. So you come here often? Um, no, actually, I was just telling her. This is my first time around here, so. Oh, cool. Wait, what does that say? Well, don't study. study. Yep, that's what it says. Within seconds, these young college girls put the guys on their radar. What class is that? Anyway. Government. I think I took that class. Did you? Yeah, do you want to come over here and I'll help you study? We're, the plan is to not study anymore. Drink. Okay, I'll just have one glass of red wine. Boom. And then I need to one. study, okay? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. While she's away. All right, do it. Huh? That's fine. I'm gonna do it. Dude, dude, not cool. What? Not cool. It's flu medication. No, no. Hey, hey, stop. Get out of here right now. I will call the police and get out of here. Hey. Don't drink that. What happened? Put something yeah. in that, don't drink that. Don't. No idea what she's talking about. Did you see that? Yeah. I, I did see it. You I saw it. There's nothing in her drink. I don't, okay. I see wine. Then you drink it. She's gonna sit with us now. That's cool, but whatever. Okay. Y'all. Sit in that one. We're getting out of here. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot, girls. You're welcome. Have a good day. Time to meet Hi these guys. brave college students. I'm John Quinones with What Would You Do? <laughs> I've seen this show. <laughs> well, you didn't give them much time at all. No, they were just creepy and in her face. And like, when they were fiddling with something, I'm like, this looks really suspicious. Even before that, you asked her, <laughs> yeah. Jonas, come yeah. over here. I took that class. Did you take that class? Yeah. I didn't take that class. Oh, you didn't? No. We roll again. This woman watches as the pill goes in. Huh? And her friend sees that straw stirring something. And now Lauren is back. Hey. Uh, hey. Will they say no. anything? Oh, um, there you go. And why do I not know? A few minutes go by, and we tell our actress to act like she's feeling the effects of the drug. No, I don't feel great right now, all of a sudden. You know what? It's hot in here, but we can walk outside and then put some, some AC air. on in the car. Yeah. We'll take you home. Come on. She seems troubled. Yeah, we'll give you a ride. Here, here, here. Let him take the bag. Yeah, Don't worry about that. Don't worry about if that. the boys are gone, will they do something? One goes to get the car, and the other one says, right I'm back. going to the men's room for a second. Yeah. What happened? I'll be right back. Just slipped or something. They're telling Tracy. They're telling Tracy. They might have slipped from Mickey or something. They wanted to take her home. He offers some help. You right there? I don't feel good. You want me to give you a ride? I just don't know what to do. They have all my stuff to do. But he won't push it. Hey, darling. Look, he's got the car outside. Now the guys are back to get their prey. It's all good. I got your bag. Ready? There we I go. I can just go out there. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. need fresh yeah. air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go get the car, dude. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Bye. They sit and watch as she staggers out the door. Time to tell them it's what would you do? Thank God. I thought she was going to be raped or something. Why not stop them? We tried to. We told the, the waitress. But as far as you getting personally involved... Oh, I would. But he would have walked... taken them out. What stopped you from stopping them? I didn't see him put anything in there. And then a surprising revelation. It's happened to me before. When I was in college, somebody put something in my drink, and they took me out to the car. Why not stop them before they took her out? Well, because I'm five foot tall. How am I going to stop And now, day 
turns into night. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom really quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. This next patron sees the pill drop in. Yes. He tries to play it cool. They just moved those two guys, just moved me to the surgery. Are you leaving right now? No, I'm going out for a smoke because uh, I'm making it look like I'm doing something, not just ratting them out so they run. Okay. I'll be right outside. While he's out, we tell the guys to drug the drink again since this woman missed it the first time. What do you do? Guys, I didn't see that, did I? What? See what? You put something in that <laughs> That's a toy. Just... <laughs> you started it! You... I can't watch this. I don't know. <sighs> She's stunned. Will she blow the whistle? Hey. Hey, there you are. What the heck? Now Lauren's back. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. That's it. And all she can do is just watch. Oh, here it comes. That's when this man oh, makes his move. Don't drink that. These two guys put something in that drink. I don't. Oh, yes. I was watching your little college drama. Yeah, pretty now that he's got the ball rolling, will she step up too? Did you guys see anything? I didn't see it. No? I don't know what they're talking about. I think you should just mind your own business, sir. My nephew's a state trooper. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm not letting these guys go in it. You want me to call 911? 911, what's your mercy? Uh, I'm at the Mason Jar in Mawa. Okay. And I just witnessed two gentlemen drug a woman's drink. But he doesn't stop there. Anthony Nagito heads over to the entrance, takes off his hoodie, and then, to our surprise, ties up the exit. What's going on here? I'm John Kinyanis with What Would You oh, Do? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Show me what you did over here. Well, I'm not going to let them leave. <laughs> you I tied give them the... something to hand to the door, and I'm going <laughs> to cover it with in front. That is amazing. I always like to joke to everybody. Yeah that my mother raised me right. Consequences could be serious, right? For all of them. You're either gonna stand by and do nothing? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You wish you would have done more. I was afraid of them. If they do that to her and the cops come, what will they do to me? That was my fear, as a woman. That's very legitimate, I guess. Yeah, but that's awful. And I will toss and turn about this for a long time. But fear doesn't hold back everyone. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Throughout the day, many people do come to Lauren's rescue. Please stop, Jenkins. Okay. Thanks. Back up. You want to test me? We got kids. You don't do it. You need to move now. Why? Because I'm going to get her stuff, so you need to move. As a woman, I felt the need to protect another woman, and I would hope that somebody would do that for me. I think in my life, I have been blessed to be around people who are protective, and I think we just need to look out for each other. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.